T-Bag! What's up everybody, T-Bagus Maximus here with the City Skylines Road Hierarchy Guide. I love this game, I have about 500 hours put into it already. By using this guide, you'll be making more unique, more realistic, more efficient cities in the game. Let's get started. Let's get into a very basic image that I drew, and then I'll show you an overhead example of this practice in the game. Your planning begins with large highways seen here in red. You then follow this up with high capacity arterial roads. Connector roads are medium capacity roads that then transition people from the local to the larger infrastructure. And then finally you have all the smaller service roads, streets, and alleys. So here's an image from one of my recent cities called Pericosta. It's still a work in progress, don't expect that it's completely done yet. As you can see, there's some areas where I don't even have any buildings yet. So you take the major highways, and the whole purpose of the highway or freeway or whatever is to connect industrial areas, shuttle traffic from suburbs, and get people into and near your city centers. But the highways also connect your city to the outside regions that you might not see on the map. Then you follow up and connect your highways to larger arterial roads. Typically these will be the six laned roads or the four laned roads and these roads are purpose built to funnel heavy amounts of traffic either through the heart of your city or they also serve as alternative routes between large centers of activity. Usually I like to have a large highway and then parallel to that there's going to be a more local larger arterial road. That way you give people two sets of traffic to kind of get to the same destination. If somebody wants to take the more local route, they have that option. If they want to take the high speed route and kind of bypass extra traffic, they have that option. Then you start building collector roads. These are typically lower capacity roads. They fan off the arterial roads and they link up with the local ones. Many aren't wider than four lanes, so don't try to use the six lane roads as collectors. A lot of newer players falsely believe that larger roads are always better. This is not necessarily the case. You get really good capacity with the four lane and two lane roads, uh, just depending on how much you space out your intersections, if you use roundabouts, and overall, just practicing good zoning and hierarchy. Then the local roads, the regular roads, you use these to kind of flesh out your city, to fill in the suburbs. I find them to be really useful. Don't discount the smaller roads. They hold a ton of capacity if you're building your city correctly. Here's the capital of Pericosta, Costa City. Once again, you can see the highways highlighted in red, bringing in high flow traffic. Then I connected these with larger arterial roads or boulevards followed by connector roads, and then every road that I didn't highlight is a local road, typically smaller two-lane roads, serving less traffic. So use this sort of thing as an inspiration for when you're building your next city. That's all I got for you guys today on this Road Hierarchy Guide. If you love City Skylines or you really enjoyed this guide, please, please, please like the video, subscribe, and I will definitely be creating more City Skyline content probably do some highlight reels about some of the cities I've been making, probably do some let's plays about new cities and new designs that we're coming up with. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.